I'm State Representative Tyler Vorpago. I'm in downtown Plymouth today talking with a number of small business owners. You know, it's really important that, especially during this holiday season, we support our local small businesses. They're the ones who are there to sponsor our sports teams, to donate baskets for raffles, and, and are part of our community. So I am a consignment shop. I'm actually one of the biggest consignment shops in southeastern Wisconsin now. Um, when I started in 2013, I had half of the upper floor. I now have two floors of consignment um, items. So I found out quickly it was a niche that kind of needed to be filled here in this, in this area. And I've been very fortunate. We've really been an evolving business. We, we weren't a quilt shop at all when we first opened. We were more of a craft store and basic sewing supplies. And then um, in the, oh, about three years after we opened, the quilting world was really taking off, so we kind of got into that. Well, we're new this year. We just opened up, and um, I originally just did uh, furniture um, at shows and things like that. I, I flip furniture. That's where over easy flipping comes from, take old furniture and turn it into something new. I gathered friends and family, literally. Um, I have lots of makers here that make different things and uh, put, put everything together and opened up. We have been here for 10 years and we specialize in mostly women's things, clothing, purses, jewelry. Could you maybe talk about what things looked like in spring for yeah. you guys? Um, you know, we, we, we were, trying to navigate it just like everybody else. Even though we got shut down, we, we locked our doors. We couldn't let anybody come in the building. We still needed to provide that service and, and those um, products. So we ended up setting up window shopping. When we shut down in March, uh, I learned very, very quickly that we needed to evolve again. So after four internal expansions, I needed to make a fifth expansion uh, online. We decided in February, pulled the trigger, and we we're going to move in March 20th. And through that process, things started really, you know, getting a little bit hairy out there. And um, so, yeah, by the time we moved in, it was time to shut down. We're selling ourselves as much as we are what's in our store. Customer service, right? Absolutely. If you don't have a thriving downtown, if those brick and mortar shops go away, um, We've seen communities all around the state and all across the country boarding up downtowns and it, it makes it an unappealing place to live. The economy starts to fall um, and, and money spent locally stays locally. So that is so important. And as I get together with the other store owners and see what all their challenges are in these different times and everybody's got a little bit of a different challenge, but yeah, it is really important to support support them so we keep this community going and again you get the shop owner expertise we can help you with your projects we can help you pick fabric the bookstore owner can help you pick the right book for your grandchild the ladies boutique can help you find something that your young niece would like or your older aunt might like all of those places the music shop i've got a beginner learning this what would be a good book or music for them the expertise of the owners in the independent shops is what's totally missing when you go online or to the big box stores. You just don't get that community and personal service. We understand that we can't fill every need, but we certainly can fill a lot of needs. And so give us the opportunity to take advantage of earning your hard-earned money first, and then move on to the box stores if we can't help you out. Thanks to all the small businesses who've stayed open, especially the past eight months when things haven't gone as planned. And remember, this Saturday is Small Business Saturday. Think local first when you do your shopping.